Hello there, Aeroner is here and today we are going to review Aetria. This Trojan faction is led by Helenos who is having quite balanced stats and let's have a look on the abilities. Right from the start he is able to reduce armor and cause 25 moral debuff of on on enemies. So when you see somebody wavering from enemies, you can use this ability to make them route. Another good ability to route enemies is the false portent. It's also giving another 25 moral bonus or debuff on enemies and you are able to route many many units around you. To be much stronger, you can sacrifice armor to get a lot of melee attack and boost your damage. And also, I recommend using the Hallowed Ground ability, which is very strong, 15 flat defense and 15 morale. This hero is very good at buffing or debuffing enemies. Let's review his army. He is starting with Militia Warband, just like other Trojan factions. This is a ok frontline unit, very cheap. Let's move to the next one. Trojan Warriors are slightly more efficient, because these chargers are doing ok. Good weapon, ok charge, fast enough. They will perform better than Militia. The Sanctuary Guards are something like Young Spears, they are, they are fast, having pretty good combat stats, maybe they are not having the same uh, spear for dueling, but they are here for dealing damage. And to tell you about this faction, Aetria is uh, having spears and clubs. You will see a lot of spears and clubs in this roster. The Trojan Riders are not just copy-paste of the Trojan Warriors. These guys are more YOLO chargers, they are faster and they have Furious Charge. They will bring enemy defense down. I would recommend using these instead of Trojan Warriors. And next we also have Swordsman, which is a early game unit from Hector. And this is your only sword unit, and you can use them instead of your frontline, as these guys are pretty good at dueling. Spit! Speaking of dueling, we got Trojan Seafarers, uh, which are the second tier unit. They are slightly better. They are pretty. They have pretty good stats, and you can yellow charge them into battle and wait. They will grind well, their flanks are well protected and they are able to encourage your units in early, which is pretty good bonus. For missiles we got light skirmishers like many Trojan factions. Uh, these guys ok speed, some relatively low damage, ok range. Uh, usually you are not going to have armored enemies in early game. That's why we are going to use slingers. They have bigger range than other Achaean slings. So these are going to outrange them. But speaking about slings, we got another art alternative for slingers. The Tassian slingers are trading this range advantage for battlefield healing. Uh, this can recover from skirmishing much better. So it's up to you if you uh, can afford, these guys can afford some dueling and skirmishing, or you really want to go with extra range. Now let's move to the mid game units that are hiding behind this rock. So, similarly as Paris, we have the Shielded Spear Warriors, 
uh, they might not have the best stats, uh, but they are mostly used together with the shields on the back. So you can shoot with your slings behind them and they are able to do some charging damage or so. These are slightly less efficient than other units in the game. So let's review other units. Trojan Club Warriors finally have shields, uh, pretty decent stats. Uh, this is very reliable frontline for you. These clubs are going to hold and they are going to be well protected from enemy missiles as well. Next we have the Temple Guards. They are having uh, flanking attack, a relatively good charging spear. They are more offensive than, than defensive. So we are going to use them as chargers and flankers. Uh, another charger, this time it is club, not spear. Uh, we have, have Trojan chargers which have a lot of charge bonus. They are going to, going to deal a lot of damage. They have lower stats, so you need to be careful with them. Uh, that's why I am recommended to use at least two of them or combine them with another unit. They are going to meld enemies very well. For missiles, we got Tassian Armored Slingers. These are pretty good at dueling because of their battlefield healing. Uh, you need to be careful with them and pull them back before they are they get decimated as they don't have shields. So these are having a lot of range, which is very good. And yeah, battlefield healing you will use it. So as Trojan faction we have also melee chariot. The Anatolian chariots are slightly stronger than Achaean ones and you can combine them with your chargers right away. If you really want you can use archer chariots for some skirmishing. Uh, it's not my playstyle but you can pull enemies into weird positions and that will help to your chargers uh, to deal with, with the enemy units. Now let's move to the late game. We are having the Companions of Helenos as our top frontline unit. These clubs are going to hold ground, uh, club enemies to the dead. They are able to block a lot of uh, enemy projectiles and they are immune to fear and terror. These guys will hold. This is your endgame frontline. Next, front uh, next uh, late game unit is Temple Champions. We have very high attack and charge. These chargers are going to kill a lot of uh, people in their path. They specialize against heroes. Plus 5 against heroes is very nice. And they're, they are unbreakable. They will also hold and deal damage during that. Uh, maybe you could be careful, they just have 39 defense. But be sure that you use their charge and damage wisely. Next charger we have Champions of Tassos. These guys are having a lot of charge, defense attack. And this Furious Charge ability, also as I said before, you will break enemy defense, which is very nice combined with such damage potential. And finally, we got Heavy Slings in the game. These Heavy Slings are able to stop enemy chariot. They are not afraid of it. Uh, they can block a lot of ammunition from enemies and then heal up. These light game slingers are excellent against projectiles and quite uh, tanky against chariots. Speaking of chariots, as uh, Trojans we have heavy Trojan chariots. They are 
standard, better than Ikean ones, you are going to use them. So, how would we play the Aetria? Uh, we have a lot of heavy units, so we are going to have quite strong heavy front line, maybe more units of the Companions of Helenos. Uh, in reserves and maybe flanks, we are going to support this front line with our chargers. Maybe you can make gaps and charge to the gaps. Yeah. So you will be breaking enemy front line with your heavies very easily. If enemy brings chariot, you are not very afraid because all your late game units, even missiles, are heavy. So if chariot is charging to you, it is going to have a hard time. So this faction is heavy. You may be lacking some pierce damage, but that's that's for you. That is because you got a lot of armor. You will slowly grind enemies, or maybe quick, very fastly because of the champions and these temple champions and champions of stasis. Oh, that's so damage dealing, and they will survive kind of. So, if you want solid heavy faction, Aetria is here for you. And if I would bring some uh, mid game units, I would really bring the chargers. They are fast, good flankers. Maybe, maybe I would also accompany our frontline with the Russian club warriors. They are fast as your champions in the late game. So. That would be it and see you later.